100% vegan on this one. Not one dead rat, not one trap rat, not one poisoned rat. This is vegan pest control at its best. Rats coming out of this hole here, loads of other holes on this pub. Uh, it's a beautiful clean pub. Regulars have been noticing rats running around, especially at the night time. Now, the first thing that people always say to us is like, can you come out and put some poison down? No, no we can't, because we get to the root cause, and the root cause of this, I think we'll find, if you follow me, Vic, this man hole open and that's not how it should look is it yeah it's <laughs> it's, uh, so we could just about make out the top of a pipe there where the rats are coming up there there and there's another outlet there what we need to do next is clean that out so we can do a camera survey find out where all this gravel has come from and if you think about it rick a lot of that gravel in there is exactly the same as this gravel here yeah it is <laughs> so unless the customers are eating the gravel and then having a poo and then it's coming down into the sewer. It ain't right, is it? So how did that get in there? We're gonna find out now. And we do it all 100% vegan on this one. Not one dead rat, not one trap rat, not one poisoned rat. This is vegan pest control at its best. What the hell is this, Rick? <laughs> it's coming out of the pot. Ah, wow. Is it a brick or what? What's... You know what that is? That's compacted soil from the rats running over the top of the soil where no doubt there's a break at the one of the end, the end of one of these pipes. Well, there might just be uh, derelict pipes, but look. That's how much they've compacted the soil down. That's from them digging it out as well as walking over it. Walking over the top, look. You can see the two feet. Yeah. Pretty much look the two feet next to each other. Wow. <laughs> well done, that's been down there for. 200 years? <laughs> Not much longer though. So what we've done, just while we get the go ahead to do what we need to do to make this, so no rats need to be killed, no rats need to be poisoned. And um, what we'll be doing is we'll be fitting a rat flap in this manhole right here. Because we've done a little quick survey, but it's so blatantly obvious from the mud, the mud trails that was in that manhole and this one, that they're coming up from the main sewer into here. This is all spotlessly clean now. So we'll fit a flap in here, which will stop the rats getting back out the main sewer system and then coming up through this pipe into here, where we're also going to put up a couple of trial cameras in here as well. And we're going to see how many rats come past. Who knows? Because if you watched all our other videos, you'll know all about neophobia. And obviously this is very much different to how it was this morning when we arrived. It's going to be an interesting one this is. Let's see how many rats come up and down the system. We'll see exactly what happens and how the rat flap actually works to get rid of your rats. Non-toxic, non-trapped, non-killed, pretty much vegan eh? So here we are. <laughs> Ricky at the moment is fitting a nice six inch rat flap for me. I think it's underneath it but it's in. So we've got it in. So the rat flap is in there. And as you've seen off the footage we've already had off the trail cams, you're going to see now, hopefully, what happens when the rats, we might even see some rats from above ground, going back through holes that they've had, they've had for years and years. And they'll go back into the sewer system, they'll come through the flap, they'll go down that pipe into the main sewer for din-dins, get some sweet corn down them. And then when they come to come back out, they won't be able to. Let's hope the trail cams work. If not, you'll just have to take my word for it. And this is how you do vegan pest control. Not the hair on the head of one rat will be harmed in all of this process. They just have to go and stay where they belong, down in the main sewer, and not out there terrorizing the people of this pub. Is a vegan approach to getting rid of a rat infestation actually realistic? Well, it certainly doesn't make life easy, but it is something with the right amount of knowledge, experience, that can be done. You really need to know your stuff though. Luckily for you, the pest interceptors have many years of experience with all matters rat. Non-lethal rat control is not an easy ta task. It's a highly skilled job that can only be done by those with the correct skills, equipment and knowledge. This is not a quick fix. 
it's not something like peppermint oil, chili oil, garlic, you name it, you've tried it. It hasn't worked, has it? Maybe you need to go to the link that's on the end of this video and take a look at our vegan friendly rat control page. Let's stop hurting rats. Let's stop killing rats just for the sake of killing them. Take a look at the link on the end of here and there might be a link for some other videos as well if you'd like to watch them. This rat's absolute beauty, isn't it? It's only a juvenile, but he's very inquisitive. And now he can't get back out and terrorise the people of this pub, which is brilliant. Our vegan version of our rat-free lifetime guarantee means that we will not harm any rats, any animals whatsoever in this process. We use the rat's natural behaviour and natural tendencies to get the rats to go back into the sewer system where they will live happily with other rats, eating what they eat, doing what they do, but doing it all not in your house. Let me reiterate here though, this is not some cheap, gizmo, newfangled, crazy idea. It's not some sonic device, it's not some dream or indeed a cheap alternative but what we do is we promise to make you rat free for life or your money back there's a link at the end of this video and there's also a link in the description explaining more about our rat free lifetime guarantee and the vegan rat free lifetime guarantee p.s we don't charge any extra for doing this vegan style